In this video, you will learn how to control an LED using the Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins. You should already know how to light an LED using the 5V rail, be able to edit text files using the Nano Text Editor, and run Python programs using the terminal screen. We've already seen how to light an LED using the Raspberry Pi's 5V rail. This resulted in an LED which turned on with the Raspberry Pi, but what we would like to be able to do is control when an LED turns on and off. To do this, we will need to write a simple computer program, but before we begin with that, let's set up the circuit. Here, I've decided to use the GPIO pin at pin 12, but any of the green labeled pins would work fine. Now the GPIO pins use 3.3 logic, meaning that they are connected to the 3.3 volt rail. In this circuit, I've chosen to use a red LED, which has a voltage drop of 2 volts. That means there will be 1.3 volts left across the resistor. You should recall that we use a resistor to limit the current passing through the circuit. This is especially important when dealing with the GPIO pins as only 16 milliamps of current can safely pass through a GPIO pin. For our LED, we will need four milliamps of current, so we will be well within the safe current limit. To calculate the value of the resistor, we use Ohm's law, which gives 325 ohms. So a 330 ohm resistor should work just fine. The wiring for this circuit is pretty straightforward. I've decided not to use either of the power rails on the breadboard to save on the use of wires, but feel free to use them in your circuit if you want. It's really a matter of preference. Of course, as we have an LED in this circuit, make sure that's placed with the cathode leading towards ground. Now it's time to write the code. I'll name my file control as that's what I aim to do, control and LED. The first thing that I must do is give a way for my program to interact with the GPIO pins. Luckily, all I need to do is import a module which someone else has put together. This line tells Python that the program will use the module rpy.gpio, and we can make reference to it by typing gpio. We could change gpio to any word we like, but we might as well use a word that sounds relevant. Next, we need to say how we will make reference to the gpio pins. This line says that we will refer to the pins by their numbers, 1 through 26. Pins can also be referred to by different names, but pin numbers are straightforward and that's what I'll always use. Now let's set up pin 12, the pin that will control our LED. This line is fairly straightforward. It simply says that we are going to set up pin number 12 as an output pin. This is in contrast to an input pin which would read a voltage level. We will see how to use an input pin in another video. Now that pin 12 is set up, we can start telling it what to do. We actually only have two choices. We can set it to low, which is essentially setting the pin to zero volts. This will result in our LED not turning on. Alternatively, we can set a pin high, which will set it to 3.3 volts. This will turn on the LED in our circuit. If you'd like a simpler way of writing this, we could use zero and one for low and high. Just be careful. Here, zero represents ground, which is zero volts, but one represents high, which is 3.3 volts. Once our program is complete, we should always reset the pins to their default values. GPIO.cleanup does exactly this. If we were to forget this, pin 12 would stay high even after our program has completed. Now if I ran this program, I wouldn't see much as pin 12 briefly goes high and then goes low again once we hit the GPIO.cleanup. What we need to do is put some time delay after we set the pin to high. We can do this if we import another module called time. We won't include as something else as time is a perfectly good reference to this module. Time.sleep will halt the program for the number of seconds included in the brackets, in this case, three seconds. This number doesn't need to be an integer, so you can also type something like 0.1 seconds. Okay, let's give it a try. If we try to run this program with Python, we run into an error which happens on line one, where we have our import command. The solution to this problem is actually being stated here, to run Python as a root user, which we can do by using sudo. So whenever we are using a program that uses the GPIO pins, we need to include sudo. Let's give it a try. There we have it, an LED that turns on for three seconds.